you have a plan when you play singles? For most 3.5 to 4.0 players, get it in is about as far as it goes. But in this video, I'm going to show you three strategies that you can use to outsmart your opponents and gain an unfair advantage. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and I was watching the ATP Finals in London the other day, and I was watching these matches, just unbelievable tennis. But the thing that I realized is that every player was using these three strategies that I'm about to share with you to great effect at some point in their match. And the good news is you don't have to be a world-class athlete to use them. In fact, you can use them whatever your level of technique is at the moment to get an unfair advantage over your opponents. But before we get started, if this is your first time on this channel, I want to say welcome. And I make videos that put the fun in the fundamentals of tennis so you can play at a high level for the rest of your life. And if you want those kind of videos, you should hit the subscribe button now because I make two of these a week. Now let's get into strategy number one, which is run them. Now most players you play against will not be very good when they're running around like a chicken with their head cut off the whole rally. So all you need to do is move them side to side until they get pooped and airmail the ball over the fence. You can do this by hitting deep in the corners or by hitting short angle shots side to side. Just keep them moving side to side until you see their tongues hanging out. This is especially effective on a best of three sets because it has a cumulative effect. Now let's look at strategy number two, which is cage them. Now some players love to create angles and make you do the running, and they may not even mind running side to side because it gives them the opportunity to open the court. So what do we do with these players? We cage them, we put them in jail, and you can do that by hitting the ball deep down the middle of the court and don't let them out of there until they give you a short ball or give you a chance to put the ball away into a big open court area. The third strategy is reverse them. You know, I had a friend named Josh who was built like Bruce Lee, and he was actually the reason I got into tennis as an overweight, 50 pounds overweight, 16 year old kid, just trying to find a way to lose some weight. Anyway, Josh was a very, very much a natural athlete, and I was far from it. And my dream was to one day just take a set from him, which was incredibly hard to do, because not only did he have more experience in tennis than I did, but he was also much more of a natural athlete than I was. But I used this strategy a few years down the road after I worked my tail off to get my skills up, and it worked to great effect. So here it is. Because he was so fast, a lot of times I'd move him cross court and he'd be into his recovery so quickly that he would easily run down a ball if I tried to run him. So instead, I'd reverse him. I'd hit behind him. And I actually ended up wrong footing him a lot of times and producing a short ball, which was good news for Team Ramon. You can do the same thing. Every once in a while, hit behind your opponent, especially if he's expecting you to try to run him. And there you have it. Use these three strategies. Deploy them on your unsuspecting opponent and you'll outsmart them and definitely gain an unfair advantage. Plus, you'll be a star by Tuesday. Now, a lot of people have problems with the pusher. Understandably so, he's a very frustrating player to play against. And I shot a video last week about three tactics of how to defeat the dreaded pusher. And I'm going to link to that at the end of this video. So if you're having any problems with the pusher, you're going to want to watch that video because I show you some cool stuff. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click the like button down below and list any comments or questions that you might have in the comments so I can answer them and maybe even make a video for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.